Hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm the lead front-end developer on RaceUp, and I'm here to tell you a bit about the new features that we're rolling out with version 2.0. Let's have a look at our steering wheel page. This is new to version 2.0, of course, because the new steering wheels are coming out in a moment. In here, you can set up your button configuration, your encoder, rotary configuration, and of course, if you have a clutch on your wheel, uh, you can set that up as well. Let's have a look at our rotary options. So right here, you can change the color to, of the rotaries to whatever color you want. You can see it changes down here whenever I click a button up here. Set that back to red. And then in here, you can change your input mode. So right now it's position-based, so it has a bunch of different positions that it's, uh, it's based on. So e each position is essentially a button in your game. And incremental lets it just take left and right. So it only has two buttons, so every time you move it left, it presses the left button, and right, it presses the right button. And this, of course, can be done for every rotary, so they can be set up separately. If you have clutches on your wheel, you can click here, and you can set up the clutch mode. So you set it up as a button, you can see it just kind of clicks in as a button. And then you have individual clutches you can set up in-game, and you can, of course, just test them out here, see if they work. And then you have the dual clutch mode, Let's see, then you can set up your how exactly you want your dual clutch to work. Um, so if you press down both clutches at the same time, you can see the bar going fully up, and then you release one clutch, and then this is your bite point, essentially. And then you can slowly release the other clutch to uh, get full control over that bite point in your game. Let's go to the Shift Lights page. When you enter the shift lights page, you'll notice that, that you can see the shift lights going up and down on your wheel. And it'll show you exactly how your shift curve works at the moment. So if you do change it in some way, you can see that it, it stops being linear here. And then it, it gets slower at the top because of the way we set up the curve now. Down here we have these presets that I just used for doing this. So you can do the inverse of that, you can do this and that. And of course you can customize it however you want. So if you want to use a preset down here, you just move one of these sliders in, in the uh, one of the outer sliders, and then you just click here, and then it uh, goes into whatever mode you, you've selected down here. And you can of course also make it flash at the optimal shift point, and you can adjust this here with this slider. Um, it'll show you like the top of it up here, so you can see it in relation to all the other sliders. And of course, you can change your colors. It'll change the moment you click, so you can see exactly how it's set up. And yeah, of course, you have the brightness slider, just like every other thing in our, in our software, uh, where you have an LED you can change. If you disable everything, it'll use the in-game options. If you want to use the game's default options, let's say, you can just do that by disabling these two toggle buttons right here. Up here in the left corner, we have a drop down. You can select different modes, rule sets essentially for your shift lights. So this affects how they move. So here it's side, center to side, so you can see it moving center to side down on the wheel. And it changes, automatically changes the graph down here. So you don't have to do anything if you just want to keep the settings you already have. Of course, you can, you know, change it up and down, do whatever you want, choose center to side and it'll just automatically change, and you can do the same here, and then go back to left to right, and it'll it'll automatically generate the, the corresponding uh, linear curve right here. All right, let's have a look at the flag lights page. In here, we have some simple options for setting up the different flag lights that you want uh, to use. These are the ones we support at the moment, and we will, of course, probably add some more in the future. And here you can change the brightness up and down if you want to as well for this. And that's kind of it, there's not much to it. Um, in the information tab, you can import export profiles if you want to, and then you can update your steering wheel if there's a new update. You'll of course be informed of this uh, with a notification in the upper left corner if there is a new update when you start Race Hub. This is our game setup page, and in here you can change your game setup settings. Some games don't need any setup at all, like Assetto Corsa. Some games like F122 need you to set up in and output ports and you just click here to save your config. You need to do this to be able to, to pass data forward to any other device you might be using or any other software you might be using. 
Some games like R Factor 2 need to have a plugin installed. So you just click install plugin, it'll pop up with a warning like this, and then you just click install plugin. If there's any more setup than that, it'll pop up a tutorial, and the tutorial will, will walk you through exactly how you need to set your game up if needed. Um, of course, if you have any issues or, or any questions about this, just contact our support, they're happy to help you. Uh, but it should be pretty simple to set up. This was a look at our new steering wheel menus. If you want to know more about the wheelbase or pedal menus in version 2.0, click wherever they end up putting the link and, uh, and you can have a look at that as well.